weeks in the blogs and in the emails, I've been talking all about how to calculate your, your, your calories and then adjust, you know, whether you want to lose weight, maintain your weight or put weight on. And, you know, it's not something that we do with most of our clients, but for some, some clients, depending on their goals, um, we would calculate their calories and then um, start adjusting them each week based off of their progress that they're making. So guys, there's, there's lots of formulas out there um, that you can use to estimate your calories. And it's important that you realize that they are only estimations. So no matter which form you get, you are going to you use, the result you get, you are going to end up um, adjusting it um, as you progress with your goals, depending on how fast you're progressing, um, how much weight you're losing, um, what your, your current body fat is, how many days a week you're training. So there's a lot of variables that go into, um, into um, estimating your calories. So what we do guys, we need the two forms that we kind of use most of the time. There's lots of them out there, different courses use different ones. And as I said, the main thing is that they're, they're only going to give you an estimate. So whichever, it doesn't matter really which one you use, um, you use as a starting point and then you make changes based off of the, the, the results you get, okay? So the two guys are the Catch McCardle and the Mifflin St. Jor, or the, the Mifflin for short. Um, for this one, we'll go through both of them. They're both going to give you slightly different readings because they use slightly different, um, slightly different uh, pieces of input to calculate. And what they're going to calculate is what's called your BMR, so it's your basal metabolic rate, okay? And that's basically how many calories you need just to maintain basic functions, not including any activity. So if someone's lying down in bed and their you know, digestion, their heart is beating, their breathing, um, those kind of basic functions, guys, it's called your basal metabolic rate. And then once you start adding in um, activity, you, um, you need to factor that into your calories as well. And we, when we do that, we get what's called um, your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. And that's basically your maintenance calories. So how many calories you need just to maintain your current weight, okay? And then based off of how many days you're, you're exercising, you would then, uh, and your goals, whether you want to lose weight or, or, or put on weight, um, you would then increase your, your maintenance calories, your TDE, up or down. So you'd um, adjust them downwards to lose weight, or you'd adjust them upwards to put on um, quality weight, okay? So I'll show you how both of them work. Um, so the catch with cardio, guys, you need to know your body fat for this, you need to know your weight in kg, and then you it's the same formula for men and women. So the formula is 21.6 multiplied by your lean body mass. So that's your body weight, not including your fat, okay? And then you, you get that, you add 370 to your answer, and that gives you your basal, basal metabolic weight. So if we take a 70 kg person who's 24% body fat, that means they have 76% lean body mass. So 76% of 70 is 53.2. That's your lean body mass, okay? So we multiply 21.6 by 53.2. We add 370 and we get a BMR of 1,519. And then to find out your um, maintenance calories, you would multiply your BMR by an activity factor, which basically is a number based off of how many days a week you're training and exercising and what type of exercise you're doing, whether it's like light exercise, like um, office work, or if it's kind of more, something more demanding, like training in the gym, um, construction work, that kind of stuff, okay? And I'll put the activity factors in the description below that we use. So this is the activity factor, 1.55, for someone who's doing, um, who's training three to five days a week, okay? So if we take someone who's training four days a week, we use that activity factor. And we multiply your BMR by that, we get 2354, which is our maintenance calories, our total daily energy expenditure. And then we multiply it um, by 90% if you wanna find out, um, if you wanna take 10% off their maintenance, so we wanna start dropping calories down. If you want to be more aggressive, you could multiply by 85%, and that would be a 15% deficit. You can multiply by 80% to get a 20% deficit. If you want to maintain your weight, you just keep 100%, you keep eating this, okay? 
And then if you want to add on weight, you would increase your, your, your maintenance calories by 10%, 15%, 20%, depending on how quickly you want to put weight on. So for instance, if we want to increase this by um, 10%, we would add, we would multiply 2354 by um, 110% and we would get 2590 to start putting weight on, okay? The other one here with the Mifflin, it's the same equation for men and women, except for men you add five, for women you take away 161 at the end of the equation, okay? So for this you need to know your, K, your body weight in kg, you need to know your height in centimeters, and you need to know your age, or the person's age. So you, the, the equation is 10 multiplied by your body weight in kg, plus 6.25 multiplied by your height in centimeters, minus five times your age, and then for me, you add five to that answer. For women, you take away 161 from that answer. So if we take um, a 75 kg person, 170 centimeters uh, tall and 30 years of age, for a man, that gives us a BMR of 1668, so 1668 calories. And for a woman, we would get 1,502 calories for their basal metabolic rate, which is just enough calories to keep their basic body functions, you know, working. And again, we need, if we want to find out the maintenance, we would multiply the BMR of each person by the activity factor. Again, I post the, the activity factors in the description below. But if we take someone who's training four days a week, this is the activity factor for that. So if we multiply 1.55 by 1668, we would get maintenance calories for this man at 2,585 and then we would either decrease those calories by 10 to 20 percent to lose weight or increase them by 10 to 20 percent to add weight and for the females the female here we would get for four days a week we would get a um, total daily energy expenditure of 2,328 calories and again take 10 to 20 percent of those calories away from this to lose weight, add 10 to 20 percent of those calories on top of it to add weight. Um, and again, it doesn't really matter which one you use because you're going to have to end up adjusting them anyway, and they're only a starting point, but they're a great starting point. So, guys, that's um, two methods we, we use. Um, you know, we don't get um, you don't need to be bogged down by having a hundred different ones, you just need to find one that suits yourself. And, if you're selling count calories, find, this, find your starting point, find your, your total daily energy expenditures by multiplying your BMR by the activity factor and then adjust your calories slightly to um, lose or gain weight. I hope you found that um, useful. If there are any questions, please post them below. And uh, If you like our videos, please subscribe, give us a like and um, share with your friends. Thanks for joining and we'll talk to you soon.